Suncor Energy pioneered development in the oil sands, but it wasn't easy. It took a bold vision, it took perseverance, above all, it took people with strength, energy, determination, and commitment. It took Suncor Energy to lead the way. The oil sand story begins almost before time itself. Over hundreds of millions of years, the Earth's oceans teemed with life. Organic debris was buried, then pressed, heated, and chemically altered to form hydrocarbons. The oil sands were among those ancient deposits, eventually exposed by erosion and the work of rivers like the Clearwater and Athabasca. For countless generations, Aboriginal peoples of the region used the exposed thick, tarry substance to waterproof their canoes. But it was the emergence and commercialization of the automobile that would revolutionize the world's need for petroleum and stimulate early interest in developing Alberta's oil sand deposits. In the 1920s, a young researcher named Carl Clark started unlocking the mystery of how to get oil from oil sand. At his pilot plant, he used a hot water process and successfully demonstrated that heavy, tar-like bitumen could be separated from the sand. The year was 1925. Meanwhile, others tried various means to get oil from the bituminous sands, including an early attempt to inject steam into the ground to literally melt out the heavy bitumen. Carl Clark continued to refine his extraction process through the 1930s and 40s. But the 1947 discovery of large conventional oil reserves at Leduc, south of Edmonton, shifted attention away from development of the oil sands. Clark recommended that the Alberta government conduct a thorough study of the potential for commercial development of the oil sands. The resulting Blair Report, released in 1950, confirmed that the oil sand deposits could be commercially developed at a slim and tenuous profit. Development would take a bold vision and plenty of financial backing. But in Fort McMurray of the 1950s, neither vision nor money were anywhere to be found. Enter J. Howard Pugh of Philadelphia's Sun Oil Company. Pugh believed North America's oil reserves were limited and he predicted oil shortages within a decade. He saw the oil sands as a viable alternate energy source. Though many doubted him, Pugh stood alone and followed through with his vision. Who could have known how prophetic that vision would prove to be?